Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. They launched it last month, uh, right after the New Year. So the concealer comes in 50 shades and um, the concealer shade matches with your foundation shade. So for example, if you use the shade 240 in their foundation range, so you, uh, so you choose the shade 240 in your concealer also. So that's what I did. I used the shade 240 and I got the shade 240 in a concealer also. So it says in Sephora that the concealer is supposed to be medium to full coverage. It is supposed to be creaseless and it is supposed to be lightweight and it is supposed to be long wearing. So in today's video, we're going to test this concealer out. I'm going to wear the concealer for a few hours and then I will let you know my final thoughts on it. So yeah, if you want to know what I think of it, then just keep on watching. So this is what the packaging of the concealer looks like. Um, it is it's the same as the foundation, just smaller. Now I'm going to go put on some foundation. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 240. In my opinion, this foundation is amazing. It makes my skin look super flawless. So I'm going to use this and I'll be right back. So the foundation is on. Now I'm going to move on to the concealer. So let's just open this baby up. I haven't, I have this concealer for about two weeks now and I haven't even opened it. Nothing. I did nothing to it. Okay, so it comes with this a paddle type uh, applicator and yeah, it looks pretty promising. Now let's just put it on to my face. It is definitely lighter than my foundation it feels pretty thick but creamy so i'm just gonna put on one side um because i don't know how fast it dries so i'm, I'm gonna now i'm gonna start blending it so it is full coverage i mean it covered all my dark circles and i have pretty bad dark circles I'm also going to put it onto my lid. So I do have a uh, lines under my uh, right under my eyes, so it's very close. So all my concealer they uh, they sink into these lines. So uh, that doesn't really bother me cuz it happens with every concealer that I use. So the concealer so far is looking pretty good and it did give me a very good coverage. Um it feels super lightweight. It doesn't look cakey at all. I'm gonna put the same amount here. I'm also gonna put some on my nose and my forehead. So it didn't give me like full full coverage like my Too Faced uh, Born This Way Multi Sculpt is my absolute favorite. It doesn't crease on me. It looks flawless under my eyes it, it is not cakey at all and it is super creamy so it is looking pretty good under my eyes so far the finish is bet between um matte and satin i don't know what you would call that so to set my concealer i'm gonna use kat von d locket setting powder in the shade translucent i have taken some powder on my sponge and i'm gonna start pressing this powder on the concealer So whatever is left under my eye, I'm just going to sweep that. The concealer looks pretty good even after powdering it uh, and keeping the, uh, keeping the fact in my mind that I have a dry under eyes. So it is not sticking onto any of my dry patches. I had uh, little bumps here right under the left side of my eyes, uh, red side of my eye. So it has covered that up and it looks pretty nice. I mean, I love, love it so far. So now that the concealer is set, um, the concealer looks pretty good under my eyes. It gave me good coverage. Um, it, didn't, it doesn't look cakey at all. And even after setting it up, um, it, it does not look super mad and it, it doesn't look like it has uh, sucked the life out of my skin, if you know what I mean. So yeah, now um, it's currently 6 p.m. Now I'm going to go film another video and I will check back with you guys in a little bit. Bye! So I'm back and it has been 7 hours since I put the concealer onto my skin. So now let's analyze the situation that is going on to my face. 
Okay, so first things first, I am seeing a lot of creases right under this area. I mean, I did mention earlier that I had um, lines right below my lower lash line, but uh, apart, uh, the concealer is already sunk into those lines and I'm also having these additional lines that I, I must say. So yeah, um, and also I'm feeling, I'm feeling that with time, the, uh, the coverage of the concealer is starting to fade away. Um, but and this is the area where I blended the concealer and it looks pretty nice I mean uh, the concealer is not looking cakey it hasn't worn off in seven hours it looks nice only this area um, I'm starting to see uh, this the, the darkness uh, that was under the concealer is starting to peek through with time I guess and yeah um, the coverage was pretty good because I had bumps right here like small zits and uh, the concealer pretty much covered everything and this area is starting to look a little dry with time but usually when I set my concealer with a uh, loose powder it happens so next time when I use this concealer I'm going to use a pressed powder I think with that uh, with with a pressed powder it is going to give me um less um less dryness and also i don't think i mentioned the price of this concealer but it retails for 26 dollars and here in malaysia it retails for 105 dollars so it's not like the most um, most expensive concealer you ever uh, ever purchase but it is a good concealer so i think you should give it a try so uh, this is where i end this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i really hope you find this video helpful and give this video a big thumbs up and yeah i will see you in my next video bye